Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I wanna to talk about retro achievements and show you how to use them within LaunchBox. With the recent release of LaunchBox 7.15, we have implemented retro achievements. As of making this video, Master System and Genesis are not working with retro achievements. The guys over at retroachievements.org are working hard to get this fixed. But nonetheless, there are tons of other games that will work with retro achievements, and I wanna show you how to set this up. First thing you're gonna need, obviously, is to update the LaunchBox 7.15. You should be prompted to update if you have automatic updates on in LaunchBox. As Soon as you're updated, we can get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to retroachievements.org, and I wanna show you a few things about that website. You're gonna to have to create an account there. Easiest way to get there, open up LaunchBox, go to Tools, Options, Find Search, Retro Achievements, click here to register for an account. That'll open up retroachievements.org. Now I've already created an account. All you need to do is create a username, email, re-enter your email, password, and create a user. This is a fresh user here. I don't have any achievements unlocked. We're gonna go to the home section. Now here's the thing with retro achievements. It doesn't work with every emulator. It only works with certain emulators and RetroArch. If you wanna get standalone emulators that work with retro achievements, you can go right here to download an emulator. So here we have Mega Drive and Genesis. Like I mentioned, retro achievements is not working with Mega Drive or Genesis. But here's a few modified versions, SNES 9X with retro achievement support, Game Boy, NES, PC Engine, Master System, N64. Now I use RetroArch for pretty much all of these systems here because it works good and it's easy to set up. We'll head to Site Pages, Supported Games. Mega Drive's not working right now, Master System is not working right now. Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, NES, PC Engine, N64. I'm gonna be focusing on Super Nintendo. Not all games are supported in each system, but there are a lot of games that you can get retro achievements for, and they keep adding them every single day. We'll just scroll down to, let's say, Breath of Fire. Here's the achievements we can unlock. Wake Up Warrior, complete the intro part of the game. All the way down, Dragon Armor Set, obtain the full Dragon Armor Set. So there's a lot of achievements to unlock for this game here. So go ahead and create your account, then we're gonna move back over to LaunchBox and set this up. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is have emulators that support retro achievements. Like I mentioned, I use RetroArch, especially for SNES, it just works great. If you're using RetroArch, you can right click on any one of your games, open RetroArch. From within RetroArch, we're gonna scroll over to settings and then scroll down to the section called achievements. We're gonna enter this section Make sure Enable Achievements is on. Put your username and password that you used when you set up your account on RetroAchievements.org. That's pretty much it. Retro Achievements is now enabled within RetroArch. Now we need to set it up inside a launch box. We'll just back out of here. Quit. Now from within launch box, we need to set up our username and our API key. We're gonna scroll up to Tools options, find search, retro achievements. You're gonna input your username from retroachievements.org. Now we're gonna to need to input our API key. Go right here, click here to retrieve your API key. It'll open up retroachievements.org. Make sure you're signed in with the account you wanna use in LaunchBox. Copy your API key right here. Now we're just gonna paste it right in the API key section. Click test. Successfully connected to the retroachievements.org API. Finally, click OK. So one of my favorite games for Super Nintendo is Joe and Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and search for that game. Click on it once. Over in the right hand column here, we can scroll down and find the remaining achievements. So like I mentioned, I haven't unlocked any achievements with this account that I'm using in LaunchBox. First achievement is Grasslands, clear stage one, normal or hard. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and show you that we can unlock this achievement here. 
This works with most games, as long as they're supported in Retro Achievements. And it looks like Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics is also supported. But I'm going to focus on Joe and Mac. I'll start the game and I'll unlock this achievement. So I'm going to go to stage one here. This is Grasslands. I'll clear this stage. I'm going to stop recording. And when I'm about to beat the first boss here, I'll start recording again. And I'll show you that we unlocked that achievement. All right. So I'm almost done with this first boss here. A few more hits and he should be out. And there we go. So whenever you unlock an achievement in RetroArch, you can see it in the bottom left hand corner there in yellow. Clear stage one, normal or hard. I always make sure that I'm totally finished with that achievement, so I'll make sure I go back to the map menu. Now I can exit the game. I'll just go ahead and scroll down. And here's my achievement. I just unlocked it and it's showing me that I have unlocked it inside a launch box. Now it's really cool to see retro achievements inside a launch box, but my favorite part about this whole thing is seeing them in big box. We're gonna go ahead and start big box mode. Then I'm gonna show you how to set up a hotkey so you can see your achievements in there. All right, so here we are in big box. We're gonna press B so we can go to options. We're gonna scroll down till we see controller buttons. And right here, view achievements. I'm gonna set this to my select on my Xbox One controller. So I'll press A. Set it to select, that's button seven. We'll back out here. Now I'm gonna go into Super Nintendo. And here's Joe and Mac right here already. I'll just press my select. It's gonna load up my achievements. And you can see them right here. Really awesome feature, I love this. One more here, I go to Do Re Mi Fantasy. Press select or whatever hotkey you set up to see your achievements and here they are listed in big box. My favorite part about this whole thing. Not all games are supported and not all emulators are supported. I use RetroArch for most of my old school console emulators so it works in there but there's also standalone ones that I showed you in the beginning you can download and set those up in LaunchBox if you'd like to. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. I hope you have retro achievements set up in LaunchBox and Big Box. I think this is a really cool feature to add on. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.